Item 10B, adopt a resolution approving cable television service rates effective August 1, 2017, and modifying the bundling discount program to include the faster levels of Internet service. Steve? Good evening, Mayor and Council. <coughs> Staff is before you tonight, as you said, to recommend a rate adjustment for two of our cable services and to also ask your approval for an expansion of the bundle and save discount program we currently have for higher levels of internet service. Uh, you have a staff report in front of you which details the staff's recommendations and the subcommittee also has reviewed and made recommendations on the proposals in an earlier meeting in August, er, in April. The reasons for the rate increase are, are due to the cost recovery for television programmer fee increases, uh, internet infrastructure improvements, and other capital investment projects that staff is recommending such as a new fiber to the home project, Wi-Fi service in the downtown and in city park. It should be noted that the rate increase is only the third one in the last six years for cable services and products, and it is necessary for cost recovery. Programming fees that the department pays to networks, ESPN, Lifetime, Disney, and almost every channel San Bruno Cable carries continue to rise for all TV providers in the market, Comcast, AT&T, everybody, so it's not just San Bruno. While the limited basic platform, the most basic TV service we carry, was originally considered for a rate adjustment, it was deliberately not recommended by the subcommittee for this lowest tier of basic TV service. So the rate is, is proposed to remain the same for the lowest level of, of service for the 600 or so subscribers who take that service. The expanded basic level of service, the next level of TV service, offers an additional 68 channels. Recently moved Fox Business News from a higher tier down to that, and NHL channel was also added to that platform this year. Most, uh, if not all, channels in this package have seen an increase for carriage. Uh, the department is recommending a $3.47 increase for the expanded basic platform. Again, as I mentioned, Digistar Basic, the next level of video services lost a couple of channels, uh, which migrated to expanded basic, and those uh, cost increases were effectively uh, a wash and offset, so we're not recommending a, a rate increase for digital Digistar Basic. Uh, you have the TV rate comparisons shown in your packet for similar channels delivered by satellite uh, Comcast, the Soundwave, and AT&T. Uh, it indicates San Bruno's video packages and regular rates, which will continue to remain uh, lower or comparable to the other local video service providers. The other rate increase recommended is for level one internet service. San Bruno Cable made a significant investment in infrastructure improvements over the last six years um, for these residential services, and recovery of that investment and continued planned project costs need to be recovered. There are some major upgrades planned for next fiscal year as well to increase capacity and redundancy for this service. Uh, the significant investments in network infrastructure replacement and upgrades uh, is the result of asking uh, for a recommended $4.85 increase for the level one internet service. This rate will still remain below our competitors for the most penetrated tier as shown in the comparative analysis. I do want to mention as part of this rate increase, we will be increasing the speeds from 50 megabits per second to 75 megabits per second. So we're going to raise that level of service. And it also should be noted that this is level one service, and level one service already gets a bundle and save discount. So effective rate is about $40. But if you take it by itself, you're gonna pay the full, the full rate, but the a la carte rate. Um, but there is a discount when you take it with TV. So while the rates are com comparable to our competitors, uh, delivery level of San Bruno cable service and support is of high value to us and our customers. We still offer free, same, or next business day calls. Uh, we, Fix your remote. If you can't, you can't uh, figure out how the remote works, we'll come out to replace cable. We do that at, at no cost to the customer, extra cost to the customer. Uh, we have 24-hour tech support and a local office present to address issues and account issues. Uh, any packages including these services will see an increase. So if you have, you know, any if you have Internet Level One or you have Expanded Basic, you'll see that. But we're only recommending increases on those two services. Uh, subscribers without these services will not see any increase. The second part of this presentation will focus on what I kind of alluded to earlier, expanding on the bundle and save program that we have for level one. We'd like to extend that to level two, to level three, and level four. Uh, we, we, have a lot, we have about 400 customers on level two, and about 100 of them take television service. And there's been some uh, uh, requests to offer a bundle and save program for that level of service. And we're, we'd like to recommend that to the council as a means of getting some more revenue um, and offering television service to these folks at a, at a, at a little bit of a discount. Uh, 
the cable subcommittee met in April to review these proposals for internet and the video service rate adjustments and the expansion of the bundle and save uh, program and if approved the rate increase and proposed new bundled rates would take effect on August 1st. Again, the proposed rates expect to bring in additional revenues to build internet infrastructure, cover those programming costs uh, increases, uh, pay loan payments for increased internet um, upgrades, allow for expansion of the fiber to the home build out um, and a Wi-Fi project uh, that we're looking for in the downtown and city park. The proposed increase has been incorporated into the cable department's operating and capital budget being proposed for 2017-18. And as required by law, a 30-day notice will be, uh, the rate increase will be delivered in the July bills. Uh, the rate increase information will also be posted on our website and on Cable Channel 1. And that concludes my presentation and I'm available to answer any questions. Okay. Any questions for Steve? Ken? To the chair. Uh, Steve, the competitors are big, regional, not national. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what can you tell me about as far as their service, you know, as far as uh, if, their, if their customer's remote goes out or if they have a problem in their, uh, you know, with their service? What, what happens? Yeah, I can tell you that uh, customers that come into our office that have had AT&T or had uh, a, a different dish provider, direct TV provider, uh, say that you know it took a week to get an appointment for them to come out for and they wouldn't even come out for a remote it took them a week to come out for a, an issue with their television set um, or with their service um, we don't you know we're business day but next business day or same business day we come out sometimes he calls in the morning we can get out in the afternoon we'll come out and, and, and work on it I I, um, I I have Comcast so I, I have a service you know I have a, a, a competitor service I've called for appointments but I mean personal experience I call for appointments said they'll be out on the weekend didn't show up called it, oh, sorry, it was a different day. Didn't show up that day either. I mean, it's, it's hit and miss. We can't get away with that in San Bruno. Uh, you San need, Bruno you need to move into town. Steve. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I, absolutely. Uh, I think, I mean, as, as far as marketing and things, I think that needs to really be, because that's what we're, it's great to see the comparisons in our staff yeah. report and stuff, but the public needs to see the comparisons and we shouldn't pull any punches. Uh, we should let people know instead of them getting the teaser rates and then finding out, yeah. uh, you know, what the shortcomings are. Uh, and they, they are major volume discount, I'm sure, and because you see their ads incessantly throughout network, you know, channels and things. So they're making a hefty profit off of them, and they're not giving them the service. So it, it, let, the, let the marketing gurus, you know, yeah. do what they can, but I think uh, this is a good step in, you know, it, in rewarding our community uh, our residents and letting them know uh, you know that we have a superior service and that and the council approved as you know uh, as being a member of the council approved a fiber to the home project at shelter creek recently we've seen an increase in subscribers there we don't see that in general and most cable companies see a loss of video subscribers we've seen an increase in video subscribers increase in internet subscribers and part of that is that we have a a, a, a technology that people are interested in because it it satisfies their needs so we're hoping to continue that but again uh, you're right uh, marketing that the service and promoting we, we probably get sick of hearing my voice on on some of those channels talking about retention and the grass is greener but the idea is that you know we are um, we are better so you know the, people know that so. <clears throat> anyone else sure Marty well um, following up on the vice mayor um, so what percentage is Percentages have we seen at Shelter Creek, and, and that was going to be the model to, mm -hmm. to determine whether we're going to spring out and put fiber in other parts of, of town. You can you share with us uh, what we're seeing so far? So yes, I, I can, um, and I will have a, a more full report for you uh, with those uh, numbers because there is a little disagreement on when we started ca calculating those numbers. But back in August of 2015, since then and up to now. This, that was before we started the project, so I'll, I'll be honest about that. But there has been 178 new subscriptions, which is 20% growth of what we had before. So we're over 70% growth at Shelter Creek based on that number. Now, that was well before we actually built anything there. That was when we were just talking to them about the project. But we've definitely seen over 250 new revenue-generated units so uh, in that same time loan, which means that people that didn't have Internet or, or didn't have TV signed up for service. So those revenue generating uh, services, you know, were added as well. So even though it was 178 homes that we went into, it wasn't just 178 revenue generating units. So um, 
in my opinion, it's been a success, um, and I hopefully it'll be that, uh, in your opinion that as well. We've also seen a growth in revenue from there, which is being able, to, which is able to pay for our um, loan. So we're hoping that that will continue to, you know, a, a different uh, uh, MDU. So we, um, everybody that signed up, it, that project is complete. Uh, we are putting the finishing touches. So we're still at, we, we've removed all of the the old cable from the building, and there's still some touch-up painting and things like that that but, we need. But to all do. the but everybody's hooked up. Everybody's yeah. hooked Over up. Over 900 the speed hooked up. It's hooked up. Yeah. All right. So I have a little technical question, and, and so I'm looking at the difference between level one and level two uh, internet service. Uh -huh. So you're going from 70, 75 bits per second, megabits per second, to 100. Uh, it's the other way. So we're going from 50 to 75. I'm sorry, but yeah. from level one yeah, to level to two, two is 75 to 100. Mm -hmm. Can is there a, a reason why that can be higher at the 100? The, the level 200 could go higher. Right, because you're going from five for basic. Yeah. Then 75 for level one. Right. Then level two is 100. Right. So there's only 25 percent more. Right. And then you jump to 300. So, uh, okay, good, good question. So. The places we can do 300 and one gig are only at Shelter Creek. Okay, so it's, it's a fiber system and okay. it's capable of doing that. It can also do 150 and 75 because it, those are lower. But in the rest of the city, all we can do in, for the most part is 100, um, you know, a max um, okay. until we have the infrastructure in place. Um, it's, so at this point, it's a capacity issue. We don't right. just want to raise it just to raise it just to raise it. We want to make sure that if we can, if we say we're going to get up to 75, that at least during the day you'll see up to 75 uh, or 100 if you if you have the 100 meg service. Okay. Um, the, the last thing I would I would ask for is is to really um, push the marketing side of of what we're doing. And I I understand we have uh, Bob New Bob, Bob Atchison our, is here, our, our new uh, employee d dealing with that. I'd like to see something where when somebody moves into San Bruno, do we give them a packet and in there is automatically a free month of something or, mm -hmm. or whatever it is that that's currently occurring? It's, we're currently doing that at Shelter Creek um, with, with the non-subscribers now. But we, we, in fact, we were talking this afternoon about, uh, about creating that. We don't have a packet that we give to. We have to know if someone's moving in or out. So. Right, but when as soon as they sign up for water. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right we, then is the time we to have get the them there, because yeah. then they'll sign somewhere else and they'll have a two-year contract yeah. from AT&T, U-verse, whatever. That's right. And then it's it's too late. Yeah. So I really hope that um, absolutely we'll find a way of putting yeah. that it's, through. Maybe we do have packets there, but we probably need to have a more special offer and, and push that a bit more at the. And the refer a friend program is twenty dollars each. You, twenty dollars for the person referring each. and twenty dollars for the person. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. Anything else for Steve? Or action by the council? Go ahead. I'll introduce a resolution for approval. Vice Mayor Ibarra? Aye. Council Member Marty Medina? Aye. Council Member Rico Medina? Aye. Council Member O'Connell? Aye. Mayor Ruane? Aye.